Coming in at 10, Lil Wayne Epilepsy. Famous rapper Lil Wayne has always been transparent about his epilepsy, with the singer being hospitalized a few times in his career due to severe seizures. For those who don't know, epilepsy is a brain disorder that is specifically characterized by seizures, and these seizures can vary, even being completely unpredictable. Not only that, but they can also manifest in different ways, such as dizziness, confusion, repetitive motions, staring, or jerky movements. In 2013, Lil Wayne had three back to back seizures that forced the star to slow down in order to de stress, the ultimate reason for why the star disappeared from the spotlight. Coming in at 9, Sarah Highland Kidney Dysplasia. Famous for playing Hayley Dumphy on the long running ABC sitcom Modern Family, Sarah Highland is a big name in Hollywood and a fan favorite among young teens. However, most don't know that the star suffers from kidney dysplasia, a condition that occurs when the internal structure of a fetus's kidneys develop abnormally in the womb. The star underwent a kidney transplant in 2012 and a second one in 2017 after her body rejected the first one. Sarah stated, I quote, For those who are chronically ill and in chronic pain, have you had the experience of doctors not listening to you? If so, how do you not tear their heads off with your bare hands? Wow. Preach. Coming in at 8, Kristen Chenoweth Meniere's disease. Kristen Chenoweth is a star of stage and screen, appearing in Wicked and even having a recurring role on Glee during its runtime. We know how talented the star is and know that there is literally no note she cannot hit. Her voice is absolutely incredible, which is why it's shocking to learn that this singer suffers from Meniere's disease, a disorder of the inner ear that can cause pressure, vertigo, tinnitus, and even hearing loss. Kind of shocking for a star that spends the majority of her career singing. Now, the condition can be caused by inner ear deterioration, a head injury, allergies, or even infections. Now, Kristen's cause is unknown, but many have speculated that it may have been related to the severe head injury she suffered while on the set of The Good Wife after a lighting fixture fell on her. However, it has been unconfirmed. Coming in at seven, Carrie Ann Anaba, Sjogren's Syndrome. Former dancer and host of popular long running series Dancing with the Stars, Carrie Ann Anaba opened up to People's Magazine about her Sjogren's Syndrome disease, an autoimmune disease that can cause dry eyes, dry mouth, joint pain, fatigue, as well as other symptoms. The star stated, I quote, There were days I could barely make my coffee because I was so exhausted. She also went on to state that therapy, acupuncture, pilates, and yoga have helped her through the condition. However, she still suffers from flare-ups. On top of that, the star also suffers from fibromyalgia, a condition that results in constant pain, accompanied by fatigue, sleep, memory, and mood issues. Coming in at six, Gina Rodriguez, Hashimoto's disease. Known for her leading role as Jane Gloriana Villanova in the CW dramedy series Jane the Virgin, for which she received a Golden Globe Award back in 2015, this actress has been incredibly open about her Hashimoto's disease diagnosis. This condition is the most common cause of hypothyroidism, a condition that leads to an underactive thyroid, which in turn impacts the way your body puts energy to use. Gina told Self that her diagnosis came at the age of 26 and felt like the curse of a lifetime, which causes the star to gain weight, have memory issues as well as other symptoms. I quote, I've had it for so many years that rebellion of not taking care of myself can't exist anymore. Gina takes medication, has adjusted her diet, and has even integrated more exercise into her day in order to manage the disease. In number 5, Sarah Highland. Highland was born with kidney dysplasia, a common condition in babies. Highland's kidneys didn't develop properly in her mother's womb and never functioned well. Medical treatments staved off kidney failure though throughout her childhood, but by the time that she was 21 she needed a transplant. Her beloved father actor Edward James Highland volunteered to give his kidney, but sadly 5 years later in 2017 her body rejected the organ and she was placed on dialysis to stay alive. Next her younger brother actor Ian Highland stepped up to donate his kidney, and by the end of 2017 Ian's kidney was successfully transplanted to his sister. She opened up about her ups and downs throughout this journey with kidney dysplasia on her Instagram feed and Self Magazine. The photo was captioned with, I say words here that hopefully others can relate to and feel like they're not alone. Hopefully those that are lucky enough not to experience this will learn about something new and take a moment to appreciate their health. Thank you so much to all the love and light I've received today. I love you all. In number 4, Charlie Sheen. Back in 2015, Charlie Sheen was all over the news after his disastrous departure from the show Two and a Half Men. His behavior following that seemed to be a little more erratic than usual, and as such, many rumors began circulating in regards to his health and well-being. While on the Today Show with Matt Lauer, Charlie finally broke the news to the world that he was HIV positive. You know there are a lot of rumors sure. out there right now, and, and you would like to address them head on, so I'll, I'll give it to, to you. Um, I'm here to, to admit that I am in fact uh, HIV positive. 
This had been a secret that he kept for a very long time, also admitting that he had paid millions of dollars to former partners of his just to keep it all a secret. This however resulted in what Sheen referred to as shakedowns for more money. So with his account being drained and the loss of his show, Charlie took control of the narrative and released information about his secret illness that he had been battling. Now you may be wondering why Charlie told these partners in the first place, well by law anyone with HIV must disclose their health status to partners or risk jail time. This is regardless of viral load, treatment or even transmission of the virus. In at number 3, Michael J. Fox. The Michael J. Fox Foundation has raised more than $900 million to fund research to find a cure for Parkinson's. It's a disease that has affected the likes of Muhammad Ali, Neil Diamond, Jesse Jackson, Ozzy Osbourne, and Michael himself, who was diagnosed in 1991. He wouldn't reveal the details of his illness, though, for another seven years. However, since going public with it, he has continued to persevere and speak about the disease's impact on his life. When speaking with CNN, he told them, I refer to Parkinson's and the effect it's had on my life as a gift, and people are completely dubious of that and kind of wonder how I could say that. I qualify it by saying it's a gift that keeps on taking, but it is a gift because it's really opened me up to be more of a kind, compassionate, curious, risk taking person. But between the time that he was diagnosed and his announcement, he spent seven years both suffering and learning about the disease, while also doing his very best to keep his condition out of the spotlight. In number two, Selena Gomez. In 2015, Selena Gomez revealed that she had been diagnosed with lupus. This is an autoimmune disease that required the singer to go through chemotherapy. The star then opened up about the disease again by sharing that she had a kidney transplant over the summer. In a heartfelt Instagram post, she writes, I'm very aware some of my fans had noticed I was laying low for part of the summer and questioning why I wasn't promoting my new music, which I was extremely proud of. So I found out I needed to get a kidney transplant due to my lupus and was recovering. It was what I needed to do for my overall health. I honestly look forward to sharing with you soon my journey through these past several months as I have always wanted to do with you. Until then, I want to publicly thank my family and incredible team of doctors for everything they have done for me prior to and post surgery. And finally, there aren't words to describe how I can possibly thank my beautiful friend Francia. She gave me the ultimate gift and sacrifice by donating her kidney to me. I am incredibly blessed. I love you so much sis. Lupus continues to be very misunderstood but progress is being made. And last but certainly not least in our number one spot, Chadwick Boseman. To many the death of Chadwick Boseman was a, a huge shocker. We had just watched him as the powerful King T'Challa in Black Panther and many other films that the actor had been a part of. He seemed to be on the rise to have a very long and illustrious career in Hollywood. Unfortunately Chadwick had been diagnosed with colon cancer and had been under undergoing surgeries and chemotherapy for the past four years. The final tweet from the late actor has become one of the most liked tweets ever and in the tweet the statement reads it is with immeasurable grief that we confirm the passing of Chadwick Boseman. Chadwick was diagnosed with stage 3 colon cancer in 2016 and battled with it these last 4 years as it progressed to stage 4. A true fighter, Chadwick persevered through it all and brought you many of the films you have come to love so much. From Marshall to The Five Bloods, August Wilson's Moraine's Black Bottom and several more, all were filmed during and between countless surgeries and chemotherapy. His family went on to say that it was the honor of his career to bring King T'Challa to life and that he passed in his home surrounded by his loved ones. At number 10 we have Little Wayne. So back in 2013, Little Wayne went public about having epilepsy after he had a number of serious seizures that caused him to be hospitalized for a week. Upon being released, he would discuss his condition with the media. Since then, a number of episodes have occurred and it has forced Little Wayne to cancel gigs and he's even had to redirect some of his private flights. Based on reports, it's been said that Little Wayne's seizures may have been triggered more frequently lately due to stress, lack of sleep, and being under the influence. To help the star manage his his epilepsy, Little Wayne has reported that he's had to make some lifestyle changes by sleeping better and managing what he eats. Wayne first started having seizures when he was a child, however, he wasn't diagnosed with the illness back then due to a lack of knowledge. He had described fainting spells, which were probably seizures that he had when he was a child. He's also revealed that he even had a cousin who was diagnosed with epilepsy, however, he sadly passed away from his seizures. Little Wayne has referred to the seizures in his music on several tracks and he continues Continues to use his story to show people that people with seizures can achieve some incredible things. Coming at number nine, we have Nick Jonas. Back in 2007, Nick Jonas would go public and say that he has type 1 diabetes. When the singer started to experience several signs that something was wrong, at the age of 13, he would tell his parents that he needed to go see a doctor as something didn't feel right. Nick has since used his voice to point out four signs of symptoms that he had before he was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes, and this included weight loss, excessive thirst, 
thirst, frequent urination, and irritability. After Nick was first diagnosed with type 1 diabetes, he felt pretty devastated. However, he knew he didn't really have the time to be devastated because he had to get right into the hospital and he had to start this new crazy journey. Nick has gone on to say that he's been pretty open about sharing his signs so others can see the signs and he wants to encourage others to share their signs so people can seek medical attention faster than they're already seeking it. Throughout his career, Nick has been pretty open about his diabetes diagnosis. In 2018, Nick would even share a side-by-side -side photo of himself at the age of 13 when he was first diagnosed and at the age of 26. And he would say, the picture on the left is me a few weeks after my diagnosis, barely even 100 pounds, after having lost so much weight from my blood sugar being so high, before going to the doctor where I would find out I was diabetic. On the right is me now, happy and healthy. Hey Peaches, are you enjoying this video so far? If so, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Coming in at number eight, we have Kim Kardashian. Over the last decade, awareness has definitely risen for psoriasis when it was revealed that one of the most photographed women in the world has it. After initially freaking out over her skin condition in an episode of Keeping Up with the Kardashians, Kim Kardashian has since adopted a more serene approach and she's explained that she is not trying to cover it up anymore. While the star has remained hopeful for a cure, in the meantime, all she can do is just learn to accept it as part of who she is. Now, back in 2019, Kim would also explain in an episode of Keeping Up with the Kardashians that she was struggling with her health and that she ultimately tested positive for lupus and rheumatoid arthritis antibodies. Over the phone, you can hear Dr. Daniel Wallace telling her that her antibodies came back positive for both of the incurable illnesses. Lupus is an incurable autoimmune disease and rheumatoid arthritis is a chronic inflammatory disorder. The fevers, rashes, and mouth sores Kim was experiencing were all part of these illnesses in addition to exhaustion, joint pain, swollen hands, and nausea that Kim was also already experiencing. Wallace would then go on to clarify that testing positive for these antibodies can sometimes be misleading and you can sometimes get a false positive during these screenings. However, this doesn't mean that Kim has a clear diagnosis as of yet for either of these diseases as it can take up to years for a clear diagnosis of lupus or RA is made. And number seven, Shania Twain. In Shania Twain's Netflix documentary, the country singer could be talking about how she believed that she lost her voice forever after she contracted Lyme disease in 2003. After being bitten by a tick while horseback riding, Shania would go on to say my symptoms were quite scary because before I was even diagnosed, I was on stage feeling very dizzy. I was losing my balance and I was afraid I was going to fall off the stage. Shania would also explain that she was having these mini blackouts regularly and they would happen every minute to every 30 seconds. However, one of the most devastating symptoms for Twain was when the disease took her voice. In a TV interview, Shania would note that it was a good six to seven years of before a doctor was able to find out that she had sustained nerve damage to her vocal cords and that Lyme disease was the direct cause of it. At this point, the country star thought she would never be able to sing again and underwent two open throat vocal cord surgeries along with vocal therapy and then she would finally start to get her voice back. This actually had to be such a scary time for the star and going through that moment, but at least she found a way to do it and come out on top. At number six, Missy Elliott. Back in 2018, after giving an inspiring speech, Missy Elliott would open up about living with Graves' disease and how she believed she overcame the autoimmune disease. Missy would reveal that she was diagnosed with Graves' disease in 2011 and that she told ABC News in a statement that year that she was diagnosed with the autoimmune disease that affects her thyroid back in 2008. Missy would also note that she was on medication for a short amount of time before quitting and that she has continued to manage her condition through a diet and exercise. Before leaving the stage, Missy would even credit her faith for the major component behind her overcoming the autoimmune disease. When she would say, I was sick and I couldn't even lift a pen. My nervous system had broken all the way down. I couldn't come up in a wheelchair. Nobody helped me get up here. I'm walking by the grace of God. Elliot first found out that she had Graves' disease after she started experiencing tremors. Now Graves' disease is five times more common in women than it is in men and doctors aren't quite sure what causes the disease as of yet, but the condition can be treated with beta blockers antithyroid medications, radiation, and surgery. Halfway number five, Selma Blair. Selma Blair revealed that she was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis, or MS, on Instagram in October of 2018. MS is a condition that can affect the brain and spinal cord, causing problems with vision, arm or leg movement, sensation, or balance. 
When discussing her diagnosis, Blair said she knew that something was wrong and she'd felt off for years, but she just thought it was something minor like a pinched nerve. As the disease has progressed, Blair now walks with a cane and continues to be open about her condition on social media. In at number 4, Sarah Hyland. Sarah Hyland was diagnosed with kidney dysplasia as a baby and has gone through many surgeries throughout her life to try and fix the abnormalities in her kidneys. At the age of 28, Hyland estimated that she had about 16 surgeries in her life at that point, adding that 16 of them took place within the last 16 months. In her life, she's had two kidney transplants. One kidney was given to her by her father in 2012, however that transplant failed and her body rejected the new organ. She spoke about the experience with self, saying quote, I was very depressed. When a family member gives you a second chance at life and it fails, it almost feels like it's your fault. It's not, but it does. She has also needed the help of dialysis at times. And in 2017, she chose the dialysis location close to the modern family set so she could more easily balance her work and her illness. And at number 3, Kim Kardashian West. Kim first revealed her struggle with skin condition psoriasis on an episode of Keeping Up with the Kardashians. During the episode, Chris revealed that she also suffers from psoriasis, and that's most likely how Kim got it. Psoriasis is a skin disease that causes red, itchy, scaly patches, most commonly on the knees, elbows, trunk, and scalp. Psoriasis is a common long-term chronic disease, currently with no cure. Kim has been open about her struggle with the disease and the flare-ups that will occur, however she has been vigorously treating it. She told people in 2017, quote, I've been using this light and I don't want to speak too soon because the psoriasis is almost gone, but I've been using this light therapy and my psoriasis is like 60% gone. Hopefully it's manageable for her now. And at number 2, Gabrielle Union. Endomyosis occurs when the tissue that normally lines the uterus grows into the muscular wall of the uterus. And it can be hard to catch because the tissue still acts normally and sheds each cycle. This has caused Union to have extreme fertility issues, which she shared openly. Union discussed this on Dr. Oz, saying, quote, Fertility is not an older women's issue. It's an issue, period. She's also admitted that she has had countless miscarriages. She says she's lost count, but claims it's about eight or nine miscarriages at this point. She discusses more about her fertility issue in her new book, We're Going to Need More Wine. And she discusses how she's trying IVF treatment to get pregnant. However, this didn't work and the couple went the surrogacy route and now have a beautiful daughter. And finally, number one, Michael J. Fox. Michael J. Fox revealed that he was suffering with Parkinson's disease in 1998, years after discovering it at the age of 29 when he was diagnosed with young onset Parkinson's. After he went public about his diagnosis, he started raising awareness for the disease. Parkinson's disease is a brain disorder that leads to shaking, stiffness, and difficulty with walking, balance, and coordination. Parkinson's symptoms usually begin gradually and get worse over time. He even decided to start a foundation to find a cure. His Michael J. Fox Foundation has funded more than $800 million in medical research to date. His condition is gradually getting worse, but he's hopeful for the future. In at number 10, Lady Gaga. Lady Gaga, whose real name is Stephanie, was getting rave reviews for her leading role in the film A Star Is Born. Although even as healthy as she looked during the film's promotion, earlier that year she had to cut her European tour short because of fibromyalgia pain. Gaga was diagnosed with fibromyalgia many years ago, but never really spoke up about it. The first time the fans really got to learn about this was during her documentary called Gaga 5'2". Following the release of this documentary, Lady Gaga tweeted more about her illness to not just spread awareness, but to tell her fans how she copes with it. Back in 2017, she said, In our documentary, The Chronic Illness and Chronic Pain I Deal With is Fibromyalgia. I wish to help raise awareness and connect people who have it. Thought ice helped fibromyalgia, I was wrong in making it worse. Warm and heat is better, electric heated blanket, infrared sauna, Epsom baths. Well, at least she gave you some tips. In at number 9, Sia. Sia is notoriously known for keeping her life very private, but with rumors about what was going on after she postponed her tour, she tweeted, I'm not crazy, I have Graves disease. The shakes, the nerves, the crazy, Goodbye thyroid, I will kill you with radioactivity. Graves' disease is an autoimmune disease that causes the overproduction of thyroid hormone and affects about 1 in 200 people. The disease can cause fatigue, difficulty sleeping, irritability, weight loss, and bulging eyes according to the Mayo Clinic. About 9 years later, she tweeted to further clarify this secret illness that she had been battling. Sia tweeted, Hey, I'm suffering with chronic pain and neurological disease, Ehlers-Danlos, and I just wanted to say to those of you suffering from pain, whether physical or emotional, I love you, keep going, life is hard. Pain is demoralizing and you're not alone. She would later clarify that post by saying, Just to clarify, I have a neurological disease and Ehlers-Danlos. EDS isn't a neurological disease. Sorry for the confusion. In number 8, Nick Jonas. Nick Jonas is now very open about his type 1 diabetes diagnosis and even has co-founded an organization called Beyond Type 1 in 2015 to educate people about the disease. 
In 2018, he marked the 13 year anniversary of his diagnosis and shared this poignant message with his fans. In the post, he said, 13 years ago today, I was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. The picture on the left is me a few weeks after my diagnosis, barely 100 pounds after having lost so much weight from my blood sugar being so high before going to the doctor where I would find out that I was diabetic. On the right is me now, happy and healthy, prioritizing my physical health, working out and eating healthy and keeping my blood sugar in check. I have full control over my day to day life with this disease and I'm so grateful to my family and loved ones who have helped me every step of the way. Never let anything hold you back from living your best life. In number 7, Lil Wayne. When Lil Wayne suffered from a seizure that left him unconscious in his Chicago hotel room, rumors began swirling about it being drug related. The rapper was well known for drinking lean which is essentially a codeine cocktail. Lil Wayne would soon reveal that due to his condition he was prone to having seizures, adding that this was not even the first time that he had experienced one. He also pointed out to his fans that just because he never told people that he was diagnosed with epilepsy doesn't mean that he had not been dealing with it. Even pointing out a time where he was hospitalized during a specific episode because he had experienced 3 seizures in a row. Which lowered his heart rate by about 30%, claiming that his seizures were the result of dehydration and working too much. My mom said no when you were younger in New Orleans, that city park when I was actually real young. She was like, you faint. For our lack of knowledge at that time, we didn't know it was a seizure. So in addition to finding out that he had been epileptic this whole time, Wayne's doctor also told him that the mixing of one prescription pain medication with codeine combined with his regular use of lean resulted in this seizure. In number 6, Julianne Huff. Julian Huff recently has become one of these several famous women including Lena Dunham and Padma Lakshi who have been publicly discussing the challenges of life with endometriosis. This is one of those illnesses that is especially difficult to open up about even with the people closest to them. Julianne opened up to E! News about her 10 year battle with the oftentimes painful disorder in which tissue that normally lines the uterus grows outside of the uterus instead. During her chat she revealed that she often suffered in silence and dealt with the pain on her own. She went on to say, obviously with my story I came out with it in 2008 when I found out that I had endometriosis. But then at the time I was like I don't know if I really want to talk about this. It's very personal and there can be some misconceptions about certain things and I was like I don't have the answers yet. The actress also said that she kept the information from her husband because she'd grown up her whole life as a competitor believing that she could do anything on her own. And number 5 Lady Gaga. In Lady Gaga's 2017 documentary 5 foot 2 Gaga would open up about her struggles with fibromyalgia. If you don't know what fibromyalgia is, it's a disease that causes immense amounts of pain and tenderness throughout the body and it can also cause fatigue and trouble sleeping. Considering that Lady Gaga performs concerts and works on acting sets for a living, the condition can become pretty weakening as it's thought to be triggered by stress and anxiety. In 2017, Gaga would also take to her Instagram to say, I use the word suffer not for pity or attention and have been very disappointed to see people online suggest that I'm being dramatic, making this up, or playing victim to get out of touring. If you knew me, you would know that this couldn't be further from the truth. I'm a fighter. I use the word suffer not only because trauma and chronic pain have changed my life, but because they are keeping me from living a normal life. Despite the consistent pain that she lives with, she always comes out on top to give us performances that have inspired everybody to become a better person. However, from time to time, she does need to cancel some tour shows so she can focus on her health with this long lasting disorder. Order. And number four, Halsey. Halsey isn't just a successful musician, but she's also one of many women who is suffering from endometriosis. Now, endometriosis is a painful condition where the tissue normally lines the inside of the uterus, grows on the outside instead. People suffering from the illness can suffer from pain and feel extremely tired all the time. Opening up about her diagnosis in 2016, the star would take to her Twitter account to say how she felt about her diagnosis. Halsey she would say finding out that she had endometriosis was most bittersweet moment because it meant that she wasn't crazy, she wasn't a baby, and that she had the right to be feeling the way she was feeling. The world was caving in and she felt terrified to find out. Halsey also chose to speak about her conditions so she could offer support to anyone experiencing the same conditions as she wants them to know they are not alone. Halsey would be hospitalized this year just three days before the Grammys to have surgery for her condition. At times, the star feels so ill, she doesn't even feel proud and she feels like there isn't much hope. And number three, Selena Gomez. Since her diagnosis in 2014, Selena Gomez has been pretty open about her journey with lupus. In addition to a kidney transplant in 2017, the 29 year old singer and actress has shared that she's undergone chemotherapy to treat her autoimmune disease and the treatment took a huge toll on her career and mental health. Now lupus is a disease that occurs when your 
body's immune system attacks your own tissues and organs. And it's also a disease that's not curable. While transplants and chemotherapy can help manage it, the illness will never go away. Treatment can improve symptoms and prevent flares and prevent other problems often caused by lupus, but your treatment will depend on your symptoms and when you need it. In 2017, at the age of 25, Selena had to undergo a kidney transplant just to help her combat her disease. Her best friend at the time, Francia Reza, even donated one of her kidneys to Selena, and Selena at the time said her friend saved her life due to her kind deed. However, since 2020, Selena has found her battle with lupus has worsened to the point where she's even experiencing excruciating pain every day. And number two, Michael J. Fox. TV and film star Michael J. Fox is known best for starring in a movie such as Back to the Future. However, back in 1991, this iconic actor was diagnosed with Parkinson's disease when he was just 30 years old before Michael finally came forward to tell the public he actually waited seven years. Although he has admitted to having some pretty bad days dealing with the illness, he no longer looks as living with Parkinson's as a battle or a fight. In 2012, he would then list three myths that people associate with Parkinson's disease. The first one being Parkinson's disease is a neurological disorder that affects a person's ability to walk and move. The second being it arises when the neurons in the brain that produce a chemical called dopamine, which helps control body movement begin to break down and pass away. And the final myth is that these symptoms include shaking, problems with balance, difficulty swallowing, difficulty making facial expressions, and muscle aches and pains. He would then also state that the condition was much more common in people over the age of 50, and around 50,000 to 60,000 cases of Parkinson's are diagnosed each year in the US according to the National Parkinson Foundation. And at number one today, we have Celine Dion. In an emotional Instagram video shared on Thursday, Celine Dion would open up about her health. And she stated it has forced her to cancel and postpone a series of upcoming concert dates. Thursday morning, Celine Dion would reveal that she had been diagnosed with stiff person syndrome, which is a rare and incurable neurological disease that can cause muscle spasms. In a tearful video posted to her Instagram, in both English and French, the Canadian singer singer would explain that her condition has forced her to postpone and cancel a series of upcoming concert dates. I've been dealing with problems my whole life for a long time and it's been very difficult for me to face these challenges and talk about everything I've been going through. It hurts me to tell you that I won't be ready to restart my tour in Europe in February. Recently I've been diagnosed with a very rare neurological condition called stiff person syndrome which affects something like one in a million people. Celine would then go on to explain that she's still learning about this condition and that she knows that this is what's been causing her spasms. And number 10, Bella Hadid. Bella Hadid has definitely become one of the world's most popular models due to her stunning features. However, just like her mother Yolanda, she has been suffering a long time battle with Lyme disease. So Lyme disease is an illness that can result in incurable tiredness and flu-like symptoms, and it's thought to be spread by ticks. In 2015, Bella would tell Evening Standards that before she was diagnosed with the disease, it affected her memory so at one point she didn't even remember how to drive from Santa Monica to Malibu and she couldn't ride her horse because she just felt super sick all the time so she eventually actually had to sell her horse because she could no longer take care of it. In August of 2020, Bella would open up about her illness again and she would go on to explain her diagnosis and how she manages her illness post diagnosis. On her Instagram, she would also note that it took a toll on her physically and mentally. She also revealed that the symptoms included an irregular heartbeat, difficulty with breathing, insomnia, headaches, fatigue, anxiety, light and noise sensitivity, thyroid dysfunction, numbness, difficulty walking, confusion, brain fog, and joint pain. And every day she felt at least 10 of these symptoms. And they all started when she just turned 14. However, they got worse as she aged. And number nine, Selma Blair. Selma Blair is known best for her roles in Cruel Intentions and Legally Blonde. However, in 2018, Selma would be diagnosed with multiple sclerosis. 
which is commonly known as MS. So what we know about MS is that people who have it, their immune system starts to attack the central nervous system. Eventually, it can make it difficult for the brain to send signals to the rest of the body, leading to impairments in movement and speech. In 2019, Selma would have an interview with Good America where she would say that sometimes all she can do is just lay in bed. You can't do it all. And it would be completely fine to just feel completely unokay. The star also noticed that now that her son gets it, she's learned to not feel so guilty about not being able to do certain things on certain days. Though MS is incurable, Blair has said that there's a potential for the disease to become less prohibited in the years. She told GMA host Robin Roberts, let's meet again next year to see if I'm better. If not, I can still have a conversation and that's good enough. Hey Peaches, are you enjoying this video so far? If so, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And number eight, Sai. So not only does Sai suffer from Graves' disease, however, she's also suffering with chronic pain due to her rare disorder that only affects one in 5,000 people as she also suffers from Elther's Danlos. So Graves' disease is an autoimmune disorder that causes the overproduction of thyroid hormones. These symptoms can include weight loss, heat intolerance, sweating, and insomnia. The illness can cause fatigue, difficulty sleeping, irritability, weight loss, and bulging eyes. Ehlers Danlos Syndrome, on the other hand, is a genetic syndrome that connective tissue disorder can affect bones and skin, joints, and blood vessel walls. Most people with the disorder have overly flexible joints and fragile skin. Sai has also been seeking treatment from the illness and she's noticed she shakes constantly and she suffers with pain that is physical and emotional. She finds her overall pain demoralizing, but she knows she's not alone. And number seven, Gigi Hadid. Now, unlike most of Gigi's family, she's actually been able to avoid Lyme disease so far. Now, Gigi's mother, sister, and brother have all been struggling with Lyme disease for a while now. However, Gigi, on the other hand, has been battling her own chronic illness, which is Hashimoto's disease, a condition where the immune system attacks the thyroid. Gigi has explained that the disease has caused her body weight to fluctuate and said her slimmer physique is a result of getting inflammation and water retention under control. In 2018, when fans were quick to make fun of the star for gaining weight, Gigi would head to her Twitter account in February of that year to say, for those of you so determined to come up with why my body has changed over the years, you may not know that when I started at 17, I was not diagnosed with Hashimoto's disease. Those of you calling me too big for the industry were seeing inflammation and water retention due to that. Since her diagnosis, she's been taking medication for her condition and she's worked to opt on a healthier lifestyle. Style. And number six, Sarah Hyland. Sarah Hyland is known for her longtime role in the comedy sitcom Modern Family. However, a lot of you might not know that Sarah was born with a kidney dysplasia, and she's even had to have both of her kidneys replaced due to the illness. In early 2019, Sarah would sit down with Ellen to discuss her illness, and she would let Ellen know that she suffers from chronic pain, and it's led her to have poor mental health, which has caused her to have some pretty hurtful thoughts. In the interview, she would tell Ellen that after 26 to 27 years of always being sick and living a chronic pain, Pain every single day. She would note that you don't know when you're going to have the next good day, and it's been pretty hard for her to deal with those thoughts. Sarah would then go on to note that she thinks by talking to someone and being able to say everything she wanted to say out loud, it's made most of her thoughts sound ridiculous and it really put everything into, pers into perspective. She then encouraged everyone going through the same thing to speak to someone as it really helped her despite her struggles she has previously experienced. With this illness, she is currently doing better now and everything seems to be stable. Come me in at five, Gerard Butler, Tinnitus. Star of films such as 300, Olympus Has Fallen, Phantom of the Opera, London Has Fallen, and The Ugly Truth. Not critically acclaimed films by no means, but certainly fan favorites. However, surprisingly, Gerard suffers from tinnitus ever since he was a young child, during which time he had to have his right ear pressed to try and correct the condition. Wherever it did not work, to this day he still suffers from the condition that has left him hard of hearing in the same ear. Tinnitus is a medical condition that causes a constant ringing in the ear. And more interesting still, the actor has previously stated that the reason he has a crooked smile is because of this condition. Sadly, there is no cure for his condition, which leads to star constantly hearing a buzzing in his ear 24 seven. 
that would drive me mad. Coming in at 4, Sarah Michelle Gellar, Major Scoliosis. Vampire killing Buffy the Vampire Slayer star Sarah Michelle Gellar suffers from a medical condition called Major Scoliosis that affects her body in a horrible way. Scoliosis is a sideways curvature of the spine that occurs most often during the growth spurt just before puberty. Now, although most cases of scoliosis are mild, some spine deformities continue to get more severe as children grow. In some cases, the condition can even be disabling. It can also cause a lot of discomfort for whoever has it, and for the most part, you can tell by just looking at the back of a person if they have it. In Sarah's case, she controlled the discomfort by exercising and doing Pilates. And on top of that, she has never been ashamed to show her back to the public, even opting for backless dresses to award shows and other events. If scoliosis is caught early enough, a person can be corrected by wearing braces to straighten the spine. Otherwise, it can only be corrected by surgical treatment. Coming in at 3, Sasha Peters, PCOS. Famous star Pretty Little Liar Sasha Peters has been on the scene for a few years now, initially making it big as a model back in 2014, landing a cover of Bello magazine with the issue focusing on young Hollywood. However, Sasha had already been in the entertainment industry long before that, first appearing on our screens at the age of 6 years old, co-starring in 2002 as Buffy on the WB's remake of Family Affairs. However, it wasn't until she landed the role of Alison De Laurentiis in the ABC family series Pretty Little Liars that she became a household name. However, a few Few years ago, Sasha revealed that she had been diagnosed with polycystic ovary syndrome, a hormonal disorder which is common among young women of reproductive age. Women who suffer from the condition may have infrequent and prolonged menstrual periods or excess male hormone levels. Not only that, the ovaries may develop numerous small collections of fluid and fail to regularly release eggs. However, in Sasha's case, it contributed to her weight gain, which almost everyone began commenting on following Pretty Little Liars. The actress stated, I I quote, I had no idea what was going on, I didn't have any way of solving it. Very recently I was diagnosed with PCOS and I finally knew why this was happening to me. Coming in at 2, Cher, Epstein-Barr Virus Singer and actress Cher has been on the scene since the early 60s, with the singer rising to fame with songs like I Got You Babe, Believe, Halfbreed and Gypsies, Tramps and Thieves. The singer also made a name for herself in the world of acting, starring in films such as Silkwood, Mask, The Witches of Eastwick, Moonstruck and of course Mamma Mia 2, Here We Go Again. However, since the late 80s, the star has been suffering from a condition that just won't go away, Epstein-Barr Virus, also known as Human Herpes virus 4. This condition is a member of the herpes virus family and is found all over the world. And what most people don't know is that most people get infected with EBV at some point in their lives. The disease is spread through bodily fluids, primarily saliva, and can cause mono and other illnesses. Symptoms of EBV include fatigue, fever, inflamed throat, swollen lymph nodes in the neck, enlarged spleen, swollen liver, and rashes. After getting diagnosed, Cher was forced to take three years off from work just to try and get better with the star even flying to Germany to seek treatment. According to Cher herself, the symptoms at one point were so severe she thought she might die. Through all of her treatments and efforts, her condition will never go away and has had a devastating aftermath of chronic fatigue syndrome. And finally, coming in at number one, Sia Graves' disease. Sia is a super talented musical genius who is behind some of the greatest songs of our generation, including Chandelier, Cheap Thrills, Elastic Heart, with the singer also writing Diamonds by Rihanna, Pretty Hurt by Beyonce, and Titanium by David Guetta. This Aussie singer is a fan favourite in the music industry and shot to superstardom as soon as she hit the scene, with the singer opting to conceal her face by wearing overly large wigs at red carpet events and even on stage. However, most fans don't know that Sia was diagnosed with Graves' disease a few years ago. Graves is an autoimmune disorder that causes hyperthyroidism aka an overactive thyroid. With this condition, the immune system attacks the thyroid and causes it to make more thyroid hormone than your body needs. If Graves' disease is left untreated, it can lead to serious health problems with the heart, bones, muscles, menstrual cycle and even fertility. Now, Although the disease usually affects people between the ages of 30 to 50, it can occur at any age, with the disease being 7 to 8 times more common in women than men. For those wondering, the symptoms of Graves' disease are fast and irregular heartbeat, diarrhea, heat intolerance, nervousness or irritability, tiredness, muscle weakness, trembling hands, trouble sleeping and weight loss. If you are suffering from any of these symptoms, be sure to contact a healthcare specialist. And at number 10, Selena Gomez. Selena Gomez has been very open about her struggles with autoimmune disease, lupus. 
Lupus is an inflammatory disease that causes the immune system to attack its own healthy tissue. Her lupus got so bad in 2017 that she had to undergo a kidney transplant. She was given a kidney from her fellow actress and BFF, Francia Raisa. When speaking about the transplant, Gomez said, quote, Maybe I wasn't necessarily really good at knowing what that meant, so it actually got to a point where it was life or death. Thankfully, one of my best friends gave me her kidney, and it was the ultimate gift of life. And I'm doing quite well now. And at number 9, Nick Jonas. Former Disney star Nick Jonas was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes when he was only 13 years old. And he's one of the 1.25 million Americans that suffer from the illness. When he was younger, it was hard for him to manage his work and the struggles of the illness. However, after some time and help from his family, he found a schedule that worked for him. Jonas also spreads awareness about type 1 diabetes whenever he can. While accepting an award in 2017, he told the crowd, quote, This is truly incredible. These kids who are up here all have type 1 diabetes like myself. This is a disease I was diagnosed with when I was 13. It was a moment in my life when I was just getting ready to start making music with my brothers and touring, and it was something that I thought would slow me down before I even got started. But thankfully for Nick, that wasn't the case. And at number 8, Amelia Clark. Game of Thrones star Amelia Clark recently revealed that she suffered from multiple brain aneurysms while she was filming Game of Thrones, and she had to have multiple life saving surgeries. Clark revealed the details in a piece she wrote for The New Yorker. Apparently, after she was done filming season one of the show, she suffered a brain hemorrhage while at a London gym. She said she felt like an elastic band was squeezing her brain. She was rushed to the hospital where she underwent brain surgery, and she said she couldn't even remember her own name. However, weeks later, she did return to filming, even though she had another growth on her brain that doctors were concerned about. She had multiple other bursts that forced her into more surgery, and now she suffers with permanent speech issues because of it. And at number 7, Claire Foy. Actress Claire Foy has been open about the invisible illness she suffers from, anxiety. When speaking about her experience, she said, quote, It's purely about that feeling in the pit of your stomach and the feeling that you can't because you're this or you're that. It's my mind working a thousand beats a second and running away with a thought. Foy revealed it all started when her parents got a divorce at the age of eight. She tried to people please so nobody would fight, but that led her to overthink and turn into anxiety. She got help from a therapist and says, quote, Now I'm able to dissociate myself from it more. I know that it's just something I have and that I can take care of myself. And at number 6, Bella Hadid. Bella Hadid suffers from the same illness her mother Yolanda Hadid has, Lyme disease. After Bella was diagnosed, she claimed she felt hopeless, but she's learned to adapt her routines to her new limitations. Bella told The Guardian in 2016, quote, It starts with brain fog. For a while, I couldn't put sentences together. I'm really tired a lot. A few weeks ago, I had a big campaign shoot that I had to reschedule. It's hard, but I pushed through, because at the end of the day, if you're not working, somebody else is. When she was diagnosed in 2012, she thought she was going to be riding horses for the rest of her life, but the disease stopped those plans in its tracks. However, Bella says everything happens for a reason, and she's happy with how things turned out. And number five, Nick Cannon. There's no easy way to describe Nick Cannon, as he is a man of multiple talents. Even with having a successful career, he was never prepared for the biggest challenge he would have to face. Back in January of 2012, Nick would be diagnosed with lupus, kidney disease, after he had experienced symptoms of fatigue and swelling in his knees before a New Year's vacation in Aspen. That worsened while he was there. Although at first he thought he may have been experiencing these symptoms because he was at a higher elevation in Colorado. When the star started to have trouble breathing and he started to experience pain in his kidneys, he would then seek medical help. He would then be hospitalized after doctors ran some tests and they would confirm his diagnosis. With the hospital being the last place he wanted to be during his family's winter vacation, over the last decade, he's had some pretty close calls and he's had to receive blood transfusions, chemotherapy, and hospitalization. Throughout his journey, he's also had to change everything about the way he lives and it hasn't been an easy journey for him. Although Nick has had some pretty big dramatic changes in his life, at the end of it he came out stronger and he continues to live day by day and focus on building a foundation for both his mental and physical health. Since his diagnosis, Nick has been using his platform to help others living with lupus and he wants his voice to bring proper awareness to the illness. Number 4, Morgan Freeman. Morgan Freeman has a devoted deep characteristic to his voice and it's created this 
art of acting, which has allowed him to become one of the most recognizable actors today. However, what some fans may not know is back in 2008, after a severe car crash, it would leave the actor with a life-changing chronic illness, fibromyalgia. With Morgan starring in some of the most successful films in Hollywood like Million Dollar Baby, concerns were immediately raised when it emerged that the star was involved in a serious accident that left him and his passenger with serious injuries. Suffering from a broken arm, an elbow, and shoulder damage in the crash, the star would have to spend four and a half hours in surgery to repair the nerves and damage to his left arm and hand. Shortly after, Morgan would reveal his long-term damage the car crash had left on him. When asked about his pain during an interview, he would explain that he now suffers from a condition known as fibromyalgia, a condition that causes widespread of pain and extreme tiredness. He would then explain that he can feel it go up and down his arm and the pain can be so excruciating to deal with. Despite doctors telling the actor that his condition would improve back in 2011, the star still needed to wear a compression glove and that his nerve damage didn't get any better. The overall illness has caused Morgan to be extremely triggered by it physically and emotionally and he has tried to move on and figure out how to live his life with this incurable illness. And number three, we have Jamie Lynn Sigler. In 2002, Jamie Lynn Sigler landed one of the most coveted roles on television. With being only 20 years old at the time, she had a promising future ahead of her. However, that trajectory would change one evening after a busy day of filming. As the star remembers walking into her New York City apartment, she remembers feeling a heaviness and tingling in her legs. Symptoms that she felt two years earlier that put her in the hospital and eventually led to her misdiagnosis of Lyme disease. This time though felt different for her as she was feeling pins and needles sensation in her legs and feet. The star was also having some problems with urinary flow. While at first she may have thought it was a bladder infection, when the star noticed that her abnormal sensations in her legs weren't subsiding, she would ask her parents to take her to the emergency department where she would be ordered to take a lumbar puncture which is a diagnosis test that is used to elevate multiple sclerosis. An MRI and a CT scan to detect the diseases related to changes in the brain and spinal cord. When her results finally came in, Jamie Lynn would be diagnosed with MS. At first, Jamie Lynn was shocked. She had trouble with her diagnosis and she eventually just kept her illness a secret which led to her to suffer from depression so she continues to encourage others to speak about their illnesses as it will help. And number two, we have Jessie J. Five years after being diagnosed with adenomyosis, Jessie J is still hoping that she will be able to conceive naturally despite her condition. With her condition affecting a woman's fertility, the singer has said that she has been told that she might struggle to conceive naturally. However, she still remains hopeful to one day become pregnant. When Jessie J was diagnosed five years ago, her condition was compared to being similar to endometriosis as it causes the inner lining of a womb to break through the muscle lining of the uterus. It can also cause prolonged menstruation, severe cramps, bloating, and it contributes to fertility issues. Jessie has explained that the pain she has had to go through with the illness is the hardest thing that she's ever had to do. While the star gets severe pain, she always tries to manage it psychologically and having children was always such a big thing for her. And finding out that she might be infertile, it's been a devastating process for her to live with. Since her diagnosis, Jessie has made some adjustments in her life to hopefully change her fertility outcome. Over the last five years, she has changed her diet and the way she lives. While she continues to do a lot of self work, she's still processing everything going on. And at number one today, we have Gina Rodriguez. Gina Rodriguez has been diagnosed with hypothyroidism at the age of 19 and Hashimoto's disease at 26. Even after her diagnosis, the star spent many of her adult years trying to pretend her health issues didn't exist. With her illnesses causing her to gain weight, have memory issues, fatigue, she's also felt like it was such an enormous thing to manage, so she didn't even try. With the star knowing that there was no way to win, she didn't even know where to begin with her diagnosis. However, when her career started to soar, it would include some big movie opportunities and directing opportunities. Eventually, her stress would start to soar and it would add to her health problems. When the star started to have panic attacks and anxiety, she would later realize that it was because she was taking too much of her thyroid medication. Once she lowered her dosage, she would remain frustrated at the fact that she had to worry about her diagnosis because it was really important that she remained self-aware. To help her combat the illness, Gina has also become vegan and has taken up weightlifting to help her have a healthier perspective on her life. <laughs>